Hi, my name is Harsh, and in this video, I will show you how you can install and get started with Local Stack for Snowflake Emulator. Local Stack for Snowflake is a new offering that allows you to develop and test your Snowflake applications on your local machine. It allows you to cut down your development costs and also reduce your product velocity. This video will show you how you can use the Local Stack CLI to get started with Local Stack for Snowflake Emulator and also show you how you can run some sample SQL queries against the emulated Snowflake database using dBeaver. So without much ado, let's get started. To begin, you can install the Local Stack CLI. The Local Stack CLI is the quickest way for you to get started with Local Stack for Snowflake and it allows you to set various configuration variables, use advanced toolings like CloudPods and more. Even better, it offers a nice experience to start and stop my Snowflake emulator. However, if you prefer, you can use the local stack desktop as well to manage the container. Once the CLI is installed, you can pull the local stack for Snowflake image from Docker Hub using this command. I have already pulled the image beforehand to help me get started up really quick. Once the image has been pulled, head over to the local stack web application and grab your auth token from the getting started page. Auth token is a personal identifier used for user authentication and it basically allows you to use our advanced features, including the Snowflake emulator. In this case, I'm setting my auth token as an environment variable so that the local stack CLI can pick it up and activate the advanced features. Now you can set the image underscore name configuration variable to the local stack slash snowflake image that we just pulled. It basically instructs the local stack CLI to start the snowflake container instead of the default one. Once we run this command, you would be able to see that the Snowflake emulator should be ready in a few seconds. In case you need to verify if the emulator is working, you can run this command, which queries the session endpoint offered by the Snowflake emulator. As you can see here, the Snowflake emulator operates on snowflake.localhost.localstack.cloud and this is basically a DNS name that resolves to a local IP address to make sure that the connector can interact with the local APIs. Now that the Snowflake emulator is up and running, let us navigate to dBeaver and run some SQL queries against the running emulator. To integrate with a SQL client software like dBeaver, you can create a new database connection. From this list, you can select Snowflake and you can add the required configuration for the dBeaver to connect with our running Snowflake emulator. As I mentioned before, the Snowflake emulator runs on snowflake.localhost.localstack.cloud. The port can be then specified as 4566 because that's the edge port exposed by the Snowflake emulator, which routes the request. You can then specify the database as test, while the username and password can be set to mock credentials. In this case, you can add test as the value. Click on test connection to verify if you can connect with the Snowflake emulator. Once it is verified, you can click finish. Now I can go ahead and create a new SQL script. And here I have a few SQL queries that I can run to create a table in the local Snowflake database. Uh, I can also go ahead and insert some data as I need them. And you can finally query the data from your local Snowflake table. I can also create a JavaScript based user defined function over here. And as you can see, the Snowflake emulator can basically emulate such operations without an internet connection or a Snowflake account. 
So this is how you can use the Snowflake emulator with dBeaver. And you can also technically set similar kind of a configuration with any other SQL client, including the Snow SQL provided by Snowflake itself. So that was it about how you can install and get started with the local stack for Snowflake emulator. The local stack for Snowflake emulator is currently in public preview, and you can reach out to us to get access. In the upcoming videos, we will further talk about advanced integrations and how you can emulate complex scenarios to bring development and testing closer together. Until then, goodbye, and I hope I can see you in the next video.